Hello guys, uh, my name is Chinmay Anand and I'm a complete physics student of fourth year. And currently I'm pursuing my BTEC. So guys, uh, today I'm going to tell you about uh, today I'm going to tell you about that uh, uh, that I'm starting a new uh, video series about uh, machine learning and Python programming and data science also. Uh, this is my first video on YouTube uh, related to machine learning and Python programming and data science also. So in this small series, we will cover uh, mainly three topics. The first is uh, Python programming from basic level to intermediate level. So the second topic is uh, TensorFlow uh, machine learning library. And the third is uh, data science or data analysis or uh, how we can make machine learning program for data analysis. So first of all, what is uh, Python? So uh, as I expect that all of you already know what is Python. Python is uh, Python is a programming language, just like all other programming languages. And Python is objected object oriented programming language. And it is very easy to use, uh, very very simple to uh, understand. There is nothing like very typical hardcore uh, syntax or uh, uh, kind of pro programming language Python is so simple to use and you can do almost anything in Python almost anything there is no uh, foundations or limits are there on Python you can do almost anything about it and the second topic is tensorflow so what is tensorflow tensorflow is a machine learning library which is hosted and uh, de and developed by Google and TensorFlow is completely free and open source uh, and it is completely free of cost. You don't need to use any external assets or you don't need to pay anything to use TensorFlow machine learning library. As you can see, an open source software library for machine learning intelligence or machine intelligence. So, In this video series, we use Python programming language to use TensorFlow machine learning library and the TensorFlow machine learning method in our project. We will make some uh, very simple and very basic uh, uh, machine learning code and neural networks using TensorFlow. Uh, we, uh, we will create a uh, basic neural network using TensorFlow and we will also create some basic and interesting programs using TensorFlow machine learning library and using Python programming. Here I am using Python pro pro programming for using TensorFlow ma ma machine learning uh, library because Python is very easy to use and very easy to understand and Python has a lot of uh, libraries and that is the most uh, sp specific reason for its popularity. The Python is very popular programming language just because it has a lot of library to use and by using that libraries we can do almost anything in it so in this series we will use python so for that so for that in this series uh, i will try to teach you uh, two things the first is python programming language and the second is tensorflow machine learning library that how you can use it how you can use it in your own project how you can use it uh, to make your own neural networks or any kind of machine learning program so we will go from very simple logic to the very high end and complex code using machine learning and tensorflow and python as well so today i'm going to tell you uh, the three things the installing and checking of tensorflow machine learning api second one installing and checking of python version 3.5 and yes, TensorFlow is only can be used with Python version 3.5.4 or the upper version than the 3, 3.5. It's mean uh, you must have at least 3 Python 3.5 version of Python to use TensorFlow. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to use TensorFlow. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you a small introduction about data science and the data analysis also. So first of all, how to install TensorFlow or because 
you have to have python installed in your computer before installing tensorflow library so you just need to download python so just type download python and then go to its official site and you can uh, download for the windows just i have windows so i will download it for windows and here i will download the 3 dot 5 dot 4 for my uh, 64 bit windows and I, and i am download a windows uh, 60 uh, 32 and 64 bit executable installer this will be dot exe file and you can easily install it so i have already downloaded it uh, let me show you here it is so i have version of uh, python 3.5.3 in the 64 bit so just double click on it and then you can uh, may expect that all of you already know how to install a soft software so it's so it's just like only just similar to installing a software so you can easily install it so after uh, installing it just open your cmd to one prompt and just type python enter if you get a, uh, some data and some information like this after typing python so it's mean that uh, you have successfully installed python on your system otherwise uh, you have to reinstall it or you have to check errors i'm not google uh, i will not go in so deep in this kind of activities how to install python or any software because i expect I, I i accept that all of you already know it so just close it second thing yes the main part is how to install tensorflow so uh, you just don't need to do anything harder you just uh, Again, open your command prompt as a administrator. You just need to open it and just you just need to type Python Python hyphen m pip install TensorFlow, and you just need to hit enter. And then it will install. Then it will install TensorFlow for you. I have already installed. TensorFlow in my system, so it is saying that uh, requirements already satisfied, set up tools, and blah blah blah. So, because I have already installed, so uh, this command is giving me this kind of info information. But uh, when you will uh, try this in your system for the first time, then, then this command will install TensorFlow in your system correctly. So, now how to check that tensorflow is installed in your system or not so just uh, make a new file and save it as .py on your desktop and name it tensorflow.py and just type import tensorflow as pf pf and just print anything print hello just save it then shift plus right click to open a command prompt here then just type py python tensorflow.py so here we are printing hello world and there is uh, there is uh, there is nothing like any any kind of error uh, because of importing we are just importing tensorflow so this is not giving any error so it's means TensorFlow is all is successfully installed. So suppose uh, if we import uh, anything like this, so it should give an error because this is not an installed 
library this kind of error so uh, but our code when we are importing tensorflow uh, doesn't giving any it's not giving any kind of uh, error so it's saying tensorflow is successfully installed okay So guys, in this series, uh, I want go deep with Python programming, or I want go deep in kind of activities like how to uh, write simple code in Python, how to use for loop, how to use if loop, and blah blah blah. I will just focus on using TensorFlow machine learning library and using. Uh, some kind of machine learning concepts ideas and and i'll completely focus on them how you can use tensorflow using python to make your own neural networks and to make your own projects using machine learning so this will be the main motive i want go very deep that how to use python and all or how to write python code cause uh, uh, so i cause i accept that for learning machine learning data machine learning kind of programs you should know uh, basics of programming and if you know the uh, basic of any kind of programming language then you can easily code in for python there is uh, nothing much harder trust me there is nothing uh, much hard if you know any kind of programming language then you can easily code in python easily so uh, because the video is going to be very large so here i am skipping the data science portion in next video at the starting part i will definitely start and definitely give a small intro about data science and and in the next video we will start a uh, and we will write a simple code in python and we will write a simple code using tensorflow so thank you for listening thank you so much for <laughs> listening bye bye